Hi everyone, Edit here. I just made this stylized smoke poof effect in VFX graph for my game Bun, and I figured it would be a perfect graph for a beginner tutorial. Okay, step one. Go ahead and make a new VFX graph. I'm gonna rename mine to smoke poof. To start, we're gonna go to system, empty particle system, to get a basic template of a graph. Since the particles are gonna be sphere meshes and we want them to be lit, I'll replace the output particle quad block with one called output particle lit mesh. I'll swap the default mesh out for a sphere and connect the update particle block back to this one. Also, make sure to tick world space if you want your particle positions to be independent of the game object they're parented to. Since we want an instantaneous burst of particles, I'll add single burst to the spawn section and crank the particle count up to 32. To initialize the particle, we need to add a few things to the initialize block. First, I'm gonna add set lifetime random, and let's just say the particles will live between 0.5 seconds and two seconds. Next, to have the poof spawn in the right location, add set position random. Make sure both vector threes are set to local. That's what the little L stands for, and then set it up as follows. This just spawns the particles roughly within a certain area of the parented object. So if I spawn a poof on a pot, particles will all roughly be in the pot when you destroy it. Now to add some motion to our dust. I'll add some turbulence, set the noise type to purlin because I think it looks more natural, um, and I'll adjust the drag up to two so the dust rides in the turbulence. For the base color map, you can put in any texture you want. I put in a one by one white pixel texture so the dust particles are all a nice cartoony white. Now to add some more life and variation, I'm gonna add a set size over lifetime so the particles spawn in and out smoothly. I adjusted my curve to reach a value of one after 0.2 seconds after playing it, but you can do whatever you want. Finally, I added multiply size random and set the parameters between one and two. So every particle is a slightly different size, but they always still scale with the set size over life node. Now to go ahead and pop back into scene view, you can see here that if I drag the smoke poof into the scene and hit compile, a nice simple stylized dust cloud appears. You can spend as much time as you want tweaking these variables and adding more or less poofs and making them more or less turbulent, anything you can imagine. Anyway, I hope this little tutorial was helpful. I hope you guys learned something about VFX graph and I'll talk to you again soon.